Wallace is here from Fox News Sunday. Come on. Come on. We, we, uh, Boy, that took a little urging. America's moderator. We were, we were caught, we were, we played his, his walkout music. Should we tell him about the walkout music? For the president? You know how you like if you're going to go play. No, I, oh, yes, right. So our, our senior producer, is it okay in today's climate? Yeah. They, she calls him hot stuff. She has been calling me hot stuff for about 10 years. Yeah, yeah. The Mrs. Soup was around then, too, so it's not like that. She's also married and has a child. Anyway, she, hot stuff from Donna Summer is what right. we play whenever you come into the studio. Well, I've never actually heard that before. Because well, you're in Washington. You, oh. When you're in Washington, we play a different song, but we can't talk about okay. that. Okay. Tell right. us, if, if you win Florida, according to Trump's people, you win the presidency. Robbie Mook, the Clinton's campaign manager, is sounding all kinds of confident down there, up 170,000 or something like that. They seem to think they're going to win Florida. If they do, will we call it early? Well, we're not going to call it until somebody has amassed 270 right. electoral votes. If he wins Florida, he doesn't win the presidency. I know. But if he loses he he, Florida, right. it's over. It's over. And, and we won't say that on election night. But there's no way. The 29 electoral votes, the polls close there at 8 o'clock at night. If he loses Florida, there's no way he gets to 270. Yeah, you'd have to. And I think he agrees that, and that's well, why you're saying spending so much time there. Yeah, that's why he's, he actually said that, or I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have made that leap without him. But they feel like they have the four battlegrounds there, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and New Hampshire. Well, North Carolina. North Carolina, that's what yeah. I meant. And they One got, of those they, end states. They got, to, they got to sweep that bunch. They don't have to sweep Pennsylvania, but then if they don't get Pennsylvania, they got to get another state to make up for it, like Michigan or Wisconsin. They have to win Florida, and the polls close there at 8. They have to win North Carolina, 15 electoral votes. The polls close there at 7.30, and they have to win Ohio, and the polls close there at 8. So if they don't win any, uh, you know, if they don't win one of those states, I, they might be able to make up some way they could conceivably put the math together, but it becomes highly unlikely. This advantage in stumpers is, is, is noticeable. I mean, usually you would have former presidents and stuff, you know, like... We have, he has the current president out there working for him. There's no Bushes out there for him, for Donald Trump. He doesn't really have the, no, he has his family. I, I, but the surrogate yeah. disadvantage or the disparity is enormous. I mean, it's basically Trump and Pence and the Trump family. And uh, Hillary has got... Rudy and Newt and Chris Christie. He's not having a good day. No, he's not having a good day. Uh, but, I mean, as a, compared to the president and, and Michelle Obama and their ability to energize young people yeah. and the African-American vote, you've got William Jefferson Clinton. He's got some clout. Uh, Tim Kaine with Hispanics. No, there's, there's no question that... Uh, but in the end, I don't know yeah. that it makes a huge difference yeah. because in the end, you're not going in and saying, well, you know, I really like that surrogate speech by <laughs> Michelle Obama. Jay-Z Jay was great. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You're going you're gonna to vote for the person you think should be the best president. Yeah. Have you, has Bruno Mars gone out for either one of them? Because Bruno Mars has that new song, 24K, we like it a lot. Who I, it? I, I, this is the difference between you and me. I still like Uptown Funk. I, I do, too. Well, Anything. I know, but I didn't even know there was a new song. 24K. It's shot, it's shot outside the MGM on a private jet and then at the MGM. It actually... He rides jet skis in the Bellagio Fountains. I've never seen that done before. Although Fran here says she and Patrizia did it, but that was late at well, night. Were we talking about the election? Well, day that's all we talk about. The, I, I the, can, what's I can that? understand. I mean, first of all, I've always thought you had maybe a little bit of attention deficit. And with that screen, it's, it would be like my six-year-old grandson. I mean, there's no way he could focus. We, ha we had Bruno up there a little while ago dancing, uh, uh, riding the jet skis in the fountains. I'm now told I should talk to you about some of these polls before we have to go to the president. Okay. Uh, call for polls, FS1, RCP, Florida. This is the real clear politics average of the polls in Florida. Florida's always close, but he's up, what is it? He's up, he's up by 1.2. He is up over her by 1.2%. Well, it's within the margin of error, and I will say... That uh, he, Clinton's up, that's what I meant. Yeah, okay. It's in the margin of the, error. The, the early vote, I mean, RCP one of the things that we've got to get used to, and you probably are more used to it than I do, it used to be Election Day was the day that people go to the polls. Yeah. Election Day is the day that Americans stop going to the polls and yeah. voting. Uh, Robbie Mook, we just talked about him, Clinton's campaign manager, said he expects 40% of all American votes will have been cast before wow. we get to election day. 40%. And right now, there's a huge Hispanic turnout in Florida, and not unreasonably, they think that's going heavily for Clinton. So you bank votes now, and then you can focus, particularly Clinton, who's got a great ground machine, you can focus on 
what's going to happen, you know, and getting the rest of the vote out and maybe lower propensity voters mm -hmm. to go out on election day. It really is a big advantage. North Carolina, she's up by two points. Again, this is the real clear politics average, so we don't consider there to be a margin of error on this because it's the average of all. And we say this is what it is. And you're leading by two in North Carolina. That's, that's not much a pad. No, it's not much pad, but again, this is a must-have state have it. For, uh, for Trump and not a must-have state for Clinton. Zona, Arizona next. All right, full, full screen four. Uh, Trump up by exactly four points in Arizona. Well, uh, I think the last time that a Democrat won Arizona may, I, may have been Bill Clinton in 1996. Right. This is a reliably Republican red state. You know, there are some states, swing states, that Trump has to win. He's also got a hold serve, if you will, in reliably red states, Utah, Georgia, Arizona. He loses any of those. He's in a world of trouble. He was in a little bit of trouble for a while to the, to the independent candidate there, but, he's, but Trump has surged in Utah since, and he has what appears to be a comfortable lead. Right. Arizona, though, so many more Hispanics living there, 30% more than the last time we voted. For, for the presidency, 30 percent more. No, the Hispanic voters could be the, the, the key in this election, and obviously the, Trump's comments starting from the day he announced were very striking and strident on when it came to Hispanics, and this could be payback time. If, if they don't decide this one, they'll decide the next one. No, well, that's right. Because the that's demographics are right. flat changing. One more thing, RCP out of Pennsylvania, this is the Real Clear Politics average out of Pennsylvania. This would be one, if, if you're Trump and you could pick this off, it makes life a lot easier. But 20 they, electoral votes. They, they, they talk about it every cycle, but Republicans have a hard time in Pennsylvania. They've won it six straight elections every time since 1992. I, I meant Democrats have a hard time. Yeah, yeah. The, the Democrats have won it six elections in a row. They've won, my favorite stat, 18 states, District of Columbia, have voted Democratic six elections in a row, 242 electoral votes. Both uh, Clinton runs, both Bush runs, both Obama runs, voted Democrat. If she holds on to those states, she's only 28 electoral votes away from the presidency, which is why Trump has to take all of the swing states, has to hold serve on all the Republican states, and has to flip, whether it's Michigan or Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, has to flip a reliably blue state. This Sunday, Fox News Sunday, will debut our brand new studio. We have 13 studios, 12 studios. I, we have a lot of studios. But this thing, it's the mother load of studios. This is the Starship Ooh, Enterprise. Nelly. This is good, and we're going to show it all off. Nobody, everybody else thinks, well, no, we're going to be the ones to show it off. We're going to show it off. We're going to have Mike Pence on. We're mm -hmm. going to have Joel Benenson, the chief strategist for the Clinton campaign, on. One. We'll have one. Carl Rove going through the numbers. We'll have the new studio. You'll come out of the musical humming the set. Wow. I, I heard there's an elevator in there. There actually is an elevator. Is that true? Yes, and they have a scoreboard like it. I'll go to Obama, they're saying. He's saying something good. Let's go. So since you have the fanciest studio, yeah, you're at are you, you want to move down there? No, I like this. We, we, no, you want that other window. You have, you have set envy. We're in, a, we're in a corner on the 12th floor. No one can find us. We love it here. No, we're going to make you go to Studio F. No, you go. I'll be here. I'll be on the Fox <laughs> Broadcast Network that night. And I'm going to be with you. Yes, you huh? will. Yes. That's exciting in my lair.